Today, we're using a Volkswagen as an RTI ramp. I said that all backwards. <laughs> <laughs> now I understand why people do that stuff on camera. I probably went so... We hit her with, uh, this is fairly... Odd. Damn, that is hard. We hit her with fairly... <laughs> now I understand the blooper reel. <laughs> So it really sold me on revolver shackles. Yes, the extra flex is nice. Some guys say these are only good for RTI ramps, blah, blah, blah. They can go on and on in theories. But really, I watched what we call the crap Jeep a friend of mine has. He had trouble with obstacles. And I've met other people that have broken leaf springs. You're not but, talking about my crap Jeep, are you? We won't talk about that one. <laughs> but if you notice the leaf spring right here, you can see I've hit things and chipped the paint off. I do use this Jeep in the woods. But what I'm getting at is right here, this is straight and so is the points. This leaf spring is not being twisted and in a bind. Any Jeep, or let me rephrase that, any manufacturer that runs a straight shackle, you put it on, it's a fixed point. And you can see both these shackles, I've twisted them a little bit, it's bent, I've actually taken them off and rehammered them straight. You will bend it and what that does is you bend your leaf springs and they are made to twist, but that's eventually what breaks right here so on the revolver shackle to give a visual for people that don't know you look at this that's a short shackle as you can see like i said earlier one inch longer that's just a standard over the counter nothing fancy shackle same thing but this part is what makes the magic all work you have ball bearings in here and a pivot point here where i believe the myth from my experience from watching guys in toyotas jeeps and just homemade vehicles is this little doodad right here. It's called a grease cirque. It's called a grease gun. The problem is people don't do them. They'll say, oh, I greased it once a year. No, no, you need to do it about every two months, depending on how often you go out on your trip. I believe, my personal opinion, this part and this part, the tolerances are so tight, what happens is they get stuck. When I bought these used, the rear are new, front is used, I couldn't open these up. I put them in a vise and I'd use a crowbar. And the guy that I bought them from, I saw him on his vehicle and they opened and closed on his, um, he had a, what is it, a CJ5 and they worked. But when I took them home, I couldn't move them. And I think that's where the myth comes from is lack of maintenance. Where a 4,000 pound vehicle takes a turn, yes, they're stuck and then they open, that dumps you over. These now, I've greased them, I've got them to open. If I took these off the Jeep, I could hold this top end and this bottom end and just go like this and they'd open and close. So, we'll give you actual numbers. And this is the shock I was talking about. It's a Bill Stein 5125, 14, I don't remember exactly, 14 I think in three, 14 three quarters travel, downward travel. And right now the shock is 100% maxed out. The revolver is open, as you can see, maybe on the camera. From center of bolt to center of bolt, seven and a half inches, or excuse me, seven and three quarters. Not sure exactly, but you can, when it's all the weight, it'll be straight. So I have a couple more inches there you can open up. The stability. Jeep is not blocked, just in park. Parking brake's not even on. You know, bouncing it, you ain't going nowhere. I was really hoping it would tip over right there. So here, same thing, same height as the other side, but this time passenger's up, driver's side's down. Now to show, tire is off the ground, just barely. Same thing, if you look at the brake lines, this is a good reason to climb onto things, forklift, a nice Volkswagen car, whatever you have. So I need to obviously lengthen my brake line anymore and I'd break that. Shocks are maxed, brake lines are maxed. Same as up here, revolver. Actually, it's a little more open, it looks like, but it is, again, limited by the shock. And just like we want, wanted to show you, it is maxed out. Uh, roughly 35 inches in the air, driver's, or excuse me, passenger side tire. And if I get this fixed or just take it off, maybe next video I'll take the shock off and show, I could easily go more. Well, if I lengthen that. Down here is the drive shaft. It's starting to pull out because this is the droop side. Just good practice when you make changes and mods, 
to see how much. It pulled the drive shaft out only about an inch. I think I'm okay. Fairly honestly, Amber. Okay. <laughs> Hey, I'm going to say it. <laughs> You're over there gritted, Alex. <laughs> Fairly. This is funny. <laughs> She's laughing. I've never seen you lost for words. <laughs> okay. Hi, this is Leander. Fairly off. Damn. <laughs> Damn you, Alex. Stop gritting over there. <laughs> I got to put a mask on you. <laughs> <laughs> 